Waffles is yelling again this morning. He's loud, but you know his mama is loud. Pixie poo. We're about to go pick up some patio furniture. Really excited. Hello, Cece goat. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? We were being a stinker last night. Didn't want to eat the dinner mama got you. No, you didn't. How is everyone? Doing okay this morning? Yeah. Gotta get this done so we can go pick that up. We've been looking for our wrought iron set and it's just not in style anymore. So they've been hard to find. Like Lowe's doesn't, they have some you can order but they don't really even carry it in store. It is what it is. It's also chilly obviously again this morning. It was about 50 when I got up. All right guys, are you ready? Ready for breakfast? Mom, talk too much. You're late and we're hungry. Okay, let's have breakfast. I think Zelda may be in heat. She's riding all of everybody. And like boys, it's making sense. So I'm gonna let everybody be together today. So like all the pigs and the goats to see if I can get her, if she'll kind of walk up and stand next to the buck pen, then I can kind of get an idea if that's what's going on. And when we get back this afternoon, I'm gonna try to walk the pigs all the way out to the net area to kind of see how that goes. So we're gonna try that today. Just kind of mix it up, see how it goes. We've gotta figure out, get in contact with the people who cut the hay for our neighbor to see if they'll come cut our back as well. I think it has relieved a lot of stress for us not trying to mow that area and our neighbors are really okay with it. So that makes a huge difference. What we'll have to do today though is put the, the little divider panel over the gate into the backyard to keep the baby goats from getting through. That annoys everybody when they get in and try to eat the trees. If there weren't fruit trees, I wouldn't really care. Good morning. Good morning, my piggle wiggle. Why are you moving your balls off right now? Would you like for your ladies to come for a visit today? Would you like for the ladies to come for a visit? Hopefully we're gonna get the mower over here today or tomorrow. We mowed a piggy pasture. So we've got to go pick up the trailer to go pick up the patio furniture. Hello, Piggle Piggle. There you go. Just put this little divider panel, we'll just unhook it from over there and hook it to this fence, the gate, just to keep the babies from going in and out. And then we'll just open it all up today and let everybody co-mingle. And this afternoon when we get back, what I'm hoping to do is to walk the pigs all the way out there, just so that they know it's out there. I don't know that they will really go out there naturally from their pen, there's so much to eat, but I would like them to know that that's out there. So we'll see how it goes. So I can still go in and out of this gate. I just have to open the gate toward the house instead of out this way, which it does, and just step over the gate like I do here. But hopefully this will keep the little bitties from getting in and out of the backyard. They've already like decided it's nap time. It's really not that late, it's like nine o'clock, but the humans do deserve to get a little bit of a lie in every once in a while. Not gonna come? Maybe. 
They'd be really excited if they realized they could go over there. Hello, kitty. Silly, silly goats. Duke has been barking all night, every night this week. I don't know if I told you guys this. The other night, Jeremy woke me up like two in the morning. The coyotes were so loud, we could hear them in the house. It was very scary, but he was barking and doing his thing. So no worries, as long as the peer peer's on duty. A little unnerving, just a little bit. We'll see if they'll come out. Are you gonna rescue the lawnmower? Okay, look, it's the farmer in the wild. <laughs> I'm a little slow. She's not happy about it. Is it time to go? Is it time to go? That you left me in here too long, Mom. You done with your breakfast? Down. Oh. That was Tiny's breakfast. Time to go. is doing well walking on that leg I just think it got wrenched a little probably sore and bruised and a little little strained but overall just fine they were waiting on mom they were waiting on mom I know oh goodness you been headbutting somebody your head is bleeding going out for the day so you can see they went immediately over here it's just what they do getting a little getting a few swallows looks like everybody's made it out here but pepper and poppy all right, ladies, mom will be back this afternoon. Okay, so we went and got our deck furniture. I'll show you what you, you guys what it is. So we got this table and chairs. We've been looking for this wrought iron stuff, but like the heavier that stuff you just about can't find it anymore. Lowe's has some but it's not this good of quality so we found it on Facebook Marketplace and then it has two more chairs that go with it. Now we can sit out on the deck and enjoy our beautiful view. What we want to do is a glider like a love seat style glider and a fire pit too like a gas fire pit but that was huge and now we're just debating shade structures and things like that. We've got one of those really nice big like angled umbrellas. I don't think it's going to be like quite enough coverage so we're talking about what else we could do. We went to this place yesterday that had these really cool pergola type things that opened and closed. All the girls are out wandering about. It's definitely going to be over here all day. Zelda has not been interested obviously in the boys and the boys haven't been over here cat calling her so I don't know. Somebody else may have been in heat. That may have been why she was being weird and mounting everybody. She tends to do that. When somebody else is in heat, she kind of takes on the male role. I'm gonna see the, show you the pigs and see if I can stir them up and walk them out here. I don't know if they'll go that far away from the water, but we'll see. We'll see, they're over here taking a nap. What are you guys doing? I love dotty kittens. What are you doing? Just like, I'm um, terrorizing birds. Hello, Bubba. What are you doing? Sweet girl, what you got right there? Got gab, got gab. Yeah, Cece's lost her collar, so I do need to just walk around down there and see if I can find it. Look in the barn again. She had lost it last night, it was a pain getting her out of the milk room with no collar. See if we can stir up the pig loaves. Of course, there's absolutely nothing to eat in here, but where are they? They were all in here. Uh, Mom, we need to check it out. We need to drink the pig's water. Hi, pepperoni. It's just really funny. They've been drinking out of the pig's water, which is gross, but whatever. Pigs are back here. Pigs! Sleeping. I thought Link was out here with them, but it was just this trash. Can we even see you? I hear pork chops snoring. Hey! Hey! What are you guys doing? Hi! Yeah? Poor chop, you're not getting up, are you, bud? No. This is a pretty good spot. Yeah, make you sleepy. I sleepy, huh? You guys aren't gonna get up for me, are you? Maybe this afternoon when it's a little cooler, we'll try. Hmm? We're sleeping, Mom. We can't be bothered. 
Can you not be bothered? I don't think so. Big, 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 big. It's a no from the pigs. Well, we'll try again later this afternoon. I really want them to go out there because I think they there are a lot of things they would enjoy. And there's just as much shade. Apparently I have to do that early. Right now is nap time. All these guys. Maybe we'll try this afternoon. It's not hot. Obviously I still have a long sleeve shirt and jeans on and I'm not uncomfortable. It's actually pretty nice out, like mid 60s. It's sunny for sure. I'm gonna go in for a while, watch the game. The game's at two, so I'm hopeful maybe about five or six o'clock I can come out here, come out and see if the pigs will walk all the way down here with me. Once all the babies are gone here in a few weeks, there won't be any reason to keep the pigs and the goats separated other than if we wanted to let the boys out. The boys seem to have plenty of grass in their little pasture. It's not overeaten, so, and they don't have any of this weird, this grass that nobody wants to eat. It's part of my thought in a new animal for here is something that's gonna help us with some of this grass. I used to use cows, and cows are just not really an option here. We don't have enough space. And with it being in the floodplain and the back half of the property saying as wet as it does, they just tear the pasture to shreds. So goats or something lightweight would be better. I think everybody's fine. All right, girls, mom's gonna go inside. Can you guys behave yourselves? Twiz is debating. Yeah, what do you think, Pops? How's your leg? So it was this leg. And it does look like she's standing on it pretty good. All right, guys. I do think you could come out of the pig pen. milk put everybody up for the night a little bit earlier tonight than it was last night we got our deck cleaned off and we got our grill from the other house so that's really exciting and we took the, the extra tables and chairs do some shifting of tvs tomorrow in the house to put one back outside there's a mount and a setup already for a tv and when we moved in there was a tv outside and we just took it in and put it in the living room so we're just gonna kind of shift around we had an extra one inside during uh, work from home. I'm sure this is gonna be just as nutty tonight as it has been every other night, but we're gonna do our best to get just the goats we need in here and not everybody and their mom. Daisy, come here. Wish me luck. Taken care of. Penny has her dinner. 
She can get on and off the stand herself if she needs to. We excited we're gonna have dinner on the porch tonight. On the... It's been a really nice day today. I hope tomorrow's just as nice for the holiday. Hope if you guys have military family, you're getting to spend time either celebrating or remembering them. My brother-in-law is a veteran of the Iraq War. It's always an important day for him. This is actually really nice because they don't run out. Let's go, Piggles! Let's go! Are you coming? Are you coming? Come on, pork chop! Tooney's gonna get all the milk tonight if he doesn't move. He's moving slow. I couldn't get them out today. I tried and they were not interested. I finally got them just to get out and eat a little. That was a miracle in itself. Yeah. No, leave the camera alone. The camera doesn't have milk. They really enjoy their milk. I have already filled up everybody's water. It's actually really nice having them all kind of in together as long as the pigs stay out of the barn. And they did today. They, the barn's too hot, really. They'd rather be in their, their little shaded area. I'm hoping tomorrow, since we'll be able to get out here with them, kind of in their the early part of the morning, get them out and get them there. I might even take some extra food out for them just to walk them out there and see. Jeremy and I are talking, there's so much grass right now between the two pens. Don't really need it. Don't really need the netted area. I just think the pigs would enjoy it. All right, girlfriends. What are you doing, Tiny? Huh? Okay. You're done. Ready to go? Good job. Get down. See you in the morning. Poppy's got her babies. Nani's got her baby. We've got those three. Patty and Milo are outside. All right, night night. Mama loves you. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs>